Yeah. Mush that baby all together. And then we're gonna whisk all this stuff together. Oh yeah. I have to put my face in here, you know? <laughs> Yeah, Quiet on set. What's up, everybody? It's another day with Chef Jay, and today we're gonna have a scrumptious, delicious, mouth-watering, toe-curling meal in store for you guys. Today we're going to be making stir fry with a nice Asian meatball on top of a nice bed of rice. We've got all our nice ingredients. Broccoli, yellow pepper, red pepper, red onion, green onion, a few asparagus stalks, some of these little snow peas, some ginger, some garlic, three different colors of these fancy carrots, ground pork, soy sauce, rice wine vinegar, poison sauce, nice toasted sesame oil, panko breadcrumbs, and the meatballs as well. So I'm gonna get this ground pork into this bowl, chop up our ingredients, I'm gonna go inside of the meatballs, and then uh, we'll take it from there. As per usual, Make sure your knife nice and sharp. Make sure you got a nice big board to cut on and our bowl to start mixing our meatballs. We're gonna be using ground pork and just dump it. Dump it in there. We got our pork, prep our other ingredients that we're gonna add to here and then we're gonna start rolling these balls out. So we're gonna take our ginger first and just peel away all the skin. And then we're gonna take our cheese grater here just like kind of mincing this. Ow, I minced my finger. Oh, that's good. That's a nice mince. Where the heck did it all go? Gonna be more confused. I didn't get anything. Ginger is minced. Throw it in the bowl. Cut up our garlic. I don't know, good amount of garlic. So now we're gonna take these four, five, maybe six pieces? No, maybe seven pieces. Mash them up. Peel them. Just start chopping through it the best we can here. Get our bowl and toss that stuff in there. Next, green onions. You know, like I said before, the thinner they are, the better our meatballs will stick together. So we're chopping these nice and thin. Onions chopped, throw that stuff in there. Next, we're gonna add some breadcrumbs, our egg, and the oil. We're gonna take our breadcrumbs here and just kind of eyeball a decent amount. I think that looks good. Take our two eggs. And then we're gonna take this nice toasted sesame oil. Um, so we're just gonna pour whatever looks good in there. Um, whoa, there it is. So all our ingredients in here, egg, sesame oil, breadcrumbs, ginger, garlic, green onions, and the pork. And I'm just gonna take here and get my hands and just kinda mush that baby all together. <laughs> my turn. You can't really be too shy with this. You just gotta get in there nice and deep black. Naughty, naughty. A little salt action, just sprinkle it in there. Don't be shy. And some pepper. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. All right, thank you, Dylan. So we're gonna take all this stuff, roll it into some balls. We'll say one inch meatballs. So we'll take a little scoop, roll them up. And that looks about a good size right there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, roll the rest of this meat. Okay, so we just got finished rolling about 24 meatballs or so. So let's take these meatballs. Hopefully, I don't drop them. On this heavy board. Oh God. Take this top off, place them in here. Actually, this is totally wrong. I want to pan sear these guys first. Oh! We're gonna take these meatballs and we're going to pan sear them first before we throw them into our crock pot. And the reason why we're gonna do this is because we want to make sure the edges of these meatballs are nice and crispy. So we're gonna take this, put it on a medium heat, use a little bit of our sesame oil, a little bit of that in there. Uh, feels pretty good, so we're gonna take each of these guys and place it in there. All right, so we're gonna let those sear pretty hard on that side. While those meatballs are pan searing in our pans over here behind us, um, we're gonna go ahead and start preparing our sauce. It's gonna go in the crock pot with them. So we're gonna mince a little more garlic here. We're gonna take some soy sauce, hoisin sauce, some vinegar, sriracha, and, and that's it. That's all we're gonna put in there. We're gonna take our hoisin sauce, throw some of this in there. We're gonna take our soy sauce, throw a good amount of this in there. Rice vinegar, throw some of this in there as well. Take some sriracha, put that in there too. A little garlic, mince this up. Yep, that's good. Throw it in the sauce, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and then we're gonna whisk all this stuff together. Sauce is done, give it a try. Wow, that's actually really good. Nice and tangy. All right, so I think these might be ready to be flipped here. They're really cooking away. Oh yeah. Those are perfect color. He's looking good. So we're gonna let those cook for another couple minutes and throw them into our crock pot. Our meatballs are done cooking over here. We're gonna take these, put them in the crock pot. We're gonna take our nice sauce and drizzle that on top and let those babies cook. So we're gonna take our nice seared meatballs into our crock pot. 
Whoops. Meatball down! How do you think these are looking so far, Dylan? Ooh, bang sauce. Bang sauce. Yeah. <laughs> I almost forgot one important ingredient, this nice thing of ginger here. We're gonna peel this, mince it, and throw it in here in a sec. Ginger is nice and minced. Throw it in our bowl. Okay, so we're gonna take our sauce we got here. Drizzle it all over the top of these things. We're gonna take this, turn our crock pot on low. Low and slow is the way to go. Put our top on, and now we're just gonna wait two and a half hours, so me and my buddy Dill, we're gonna go hit the grill for a little bit. We're gonna come back a couple hours, take the top off, see how they look. All right, peace. Peace. Two hours later. Let's check in on our meatballs. They've been cooking for almost two hours now. Oh yeah, just listen to the taste. We're gonna put the lid back on those. We got our little test meatball here. Let's uh, cut this in half, see how we're looking. It actually looks like it's cooked through already. Let's try a piece. Oh yeah, I'm very hot, <laughs> but that tastes really good. These babies are done, yeah, give it a try, Dill. I'm waiting all day for I know, this. you're looking antsy. Woo! <laughs> oh yeah, delicious. So Dill says delicious. Before we start, Preparing all our vegetables for the stir fry. We're gonna get this rice um, started. We're gonna turn this on a nice uh, low heat, and that'll probably cook for 20 minutes or so. For this stir fry, we're gonna use a ton of different stuff. We're gonna use these broccoli florets, a yellow pepper, red pepper, a red onion, some asparagus, some snap peas, and some assorted carrots. We're just gonna kinda pick these off the stock. As you can see, there's some big pieces. We're just gonna take these and kinda just break it apart into the little sizes that we wanted. Throw them all in our bowl. Next, these two peppers. Take the whole top off, split this thing in half. So we're gonna take this, lay it on its side like so, and we're just gonna take thin little strips from it. Yellow onion is cut. We're gonna take all this and throw it right in the bowl. I called it an onion again. All right, yellow pepper cut. Red pepper's next. All right, same thing, cut off the top, split it in half, nice thin strips. Throw these babies in the bowl. Next, we're gonna do the asparagus. Okay, asparagus. We're gonna take these, cut off the butts, keep them nice and thin. We're just gonna do our best here. Oh, I hear Will. I hear Kilo! Kilo! Yo, Kilo! What's good, my guy? Chef Jay, what's on the menu? Char. Zoom in on the jar. Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. This is our friend Alex. We don't really she like doesn't quite like being on camera yet, but she'll get used to it. <laughs> Asparagus are nice and sliced in these cool little pieces here. Throw them in the bowl. We're gonna take our snap peas, throw them in the bowl. Whoa, whoa, we got some overflow! All right, saved it. Rice is good. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna take our carrots, cut the top off, and we're gonna cut these similar to how we cut the asparagus. Diagonal long strips here. Interesting. I don't think so. That's a good carrot. Oh. All right, good snap. Okay, so we got this nice jumble of things going on here. We're gonna take those, throw them in the bowl. Last but not least, the red onion. Nice thing slices. Ow, oh, my eyes, dude. I keep forgetting to put my goggles on. Put it forgot his goggles! Perfect, dude. You didn't put it on. <laughs> so I think our rice is about done. Let's check on it. Nice and steamy. All right, let's try it. Yep, that's done. Let that baby sit, and then we're gonna get our stir fry going on the stove. We got uh, two bottles of wine, thanks to Alex, thank you very much. Two Sommelier Kilo. Beautiful wine, oak influence, food expression. It's supposed to go really well with a nice Asian meatball. All right, cheers. All right, cheers. Thanks, guys. Mmm, good notes of red grapes in here. <laughs> thanks, Captain Obvious. Um, the rice is done, meatballs are done. We're gonna take this stir fry here. Give it a bowl flip. What's the bowl flip? Try it. What's the bowl flip? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Can I use two hands? Yeah, of course. Oh, okay, okay. All right, Kilo's trying. Skirt. Wow. <laughs> All right, let's see it. Come on. Oh, oh, he's got the technique. Okay, let's turn this on. We're gonna use both burners. We're gonna take some more of this sesame oil. Just put a good amount in there. We're gonna throw our stir fry in. 
Oh my god. That looks really good and colorful. Can't forget to season the stir fry here. We need our salt. A little bit of this. A little bit of this. The garlic powder. Just kind of give this a nice stir. A little flick of the wrist. Look at the flick of the wrist. Okay, so these vegetables are just about done. We're just going to finish them with some soy sauce. All right, so we're going to take this rice. Take this. And then, nice. We're just gonna kinda make like a border. We're going to have strong, incredible borders. Around this rice. Okay, we're gonna grab these meatballs out of the cock pot and throw these on there too. Yes, buddy. Take these babies out. Put a little swish through. Then we're gonna take four each and just kinda whoa, whoa, whoa. place them right. Ow! Drizzle that baby over the top. Sesame seeds. Drizzle these babies over the meatballs. Like that. Okay, so there you have it. We got our Asian meatballs with a stir fry medley of, I don't know, six, seven different kind of vegetables on top of nice white rice. Um, so we got a good crew here today. We're gonna try these. We're gonna get the kilo breakdown score as per usual. One right. bite, everybody knows the rules. Sunday dinner with Chef Jay. As you can tell, he did it again. Get a little nice piece of meatball. Pepper, we're taking a big bite here. We're going all in. <laughs> That's how it's supposed to be done. Excellently done. Meatballs, nice sear to them. Slow cook for about, what'd you say, two hours? Two hours, yep. A sauce, excellent with the sesame seeds on top. Vegetables cooked to perfection. Rice, super fluffy. Excellently done, Chef Jay. Thank you, Kilo. Thank you. Presentation. This is quite the messy, messy dish. You know, we got a lot of vegetables here, but probably give you a uh, 7.9. Taste 8.4. 7.9. He's right. It's a little messy, but 8.4. We'll take it. We got our boy Dylan over here. I'm a first timer. First timer, Chef Jay. He's gonna hopefully give us a good taste test. Looks phenomenal. Get a little of everything. Ooh. Wow. Overwhelming. Here we go. Meatball. Little snap. Peace. Ooh, don't forget rice. I have to put my face in here, you know. <laughs> Real wasn't mine. It's phenomenal. It's 8.5. Oh. Presentation, it was a nice effort. 7.7. 7. All right, thanks, Dill. Delicious. All right, Alex's turn. Some rice, some meat, not broccoli. You don't like broccoli? <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, no, that's good. I'll do presentation, 7.2. Mm. I'll do taste. 8.7. <laughs> Alright, so presentation, eh, a little, little sketchy this time around. It was tough and pretty messy, but I'll take an overall, I don't know, we'll say 8.6 for taste. That's pretty good. I think that's the best one yet. So finally my turn to try this meal we got here. Our nice Asian meatballs with this nice fancy garnish on top. Looks nice. Presentation, I agree, isn't the best, but it looked really good. It smells really good. A little bit of rice, carrots, some onions, broccoli, a little snap pea. Freaking whole meatball here. You wish me luck. That is, that's very good. Meatball is obviously the best part. It's sauce on top, it goes really well. Ginger, soy, nice sweet and tangy kind of balance there. This white rice, soaking up all those flavors of the meatball juice we poured on top. And the stir fry adds a nice little crunch, a little veggie extra. So me and all of us here, we're gonna tear down this meal. Have a nice family dinner. Don't forget, follow your boy at that guy, Chef J on Instagram. Smash that subscribe button. Check the link in the description. You guys want the recipe for this banging ass meal. And that's it for today. Chef Jay out. Peace. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. <laughs> oh still Get back up there. Get your slender bender feet in there. Take your shoes off. Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs>